Okay, so I'm going to give you a short tutorial on how to do the two color spit splicing technique. This is a technique that I've used in my free pattern on Ravelry for the sagebrush scarf. And it is a great technique for doing color changes um, and saving you from weaving in all those ends at the end of your project. So let's get started. I've just done a little sample here and I haven't finished the row because I actually want to uh, start a new color when I begin the next row. And so I need to have a bit of forethought there. So if I want to change colors at the beginning of the next row, I'm actually going to plan ahead for my color change. I have five stitches left on this needle. So what I'm going to be doing is breaking the yarn that I'm currently working with. And what I do is I just take that yarn and wrap it around the needle five times. And what this does is it emulates the knit stitch. So it gives me the length, the approximate length that I'm going to need to knit those stitches. And so once I've done that, I also want to account for the joint that I'll be making with the new color. So I add about an inch or an inch and a half and cut it there. And now I'm ready to join my next color. Now this is the spit splicing part. So you see there's different plies to each yarn. Now essentially I'm going to be attaching these yarns together so I don't want a double thickness. So I'm going to remove a couple of these plies. So I've removed two of the four plies on that yarn and I'll do the same on this yarn. So now I have a two ply here and a two ply here and I removed about an inch from each. Now I'm going to join these yarns. I lay them alongside each other about where I removed some of the plies. I make an X and I'm just going to fold each color back on itself. So I've attached them with a U-bend and takes up approximately an inch or an inch and a half the amount of space that I allotted for that. And now what I'm going to do is take some water or just some spit, so excuse me for a moment. So I've wetted that joint and I'm going to just rub it in between my hands and create a lot of friction. You can see it's already coming together. going to go down a little bit, make sure I haven't missed anything. Okay, so you can see that these yarns, two different colors, are now spliced together as one strand, and I'm ready to knit. Now this is the, hopefully, the magic part. So I'm going to go ahead and knit these five stitches left in this one color. Now, I can see that I've already made a bit of a miscalculation. That is fine. I've already spliced these together, so I'm not going to do that method again. But I can tell that my next stitch is actually not going to be the color that I want it to be. So what I'm going to do is unknit those five stitches again. And I'm just going to have a bit of a looser gauge to try to take up more of that yarn space. And that's how you would just make sure your color change happens when you want it to. If it uh, happens there. So that actually worked out really well. 
I just loosened my gauge and I ended up using mo up more of that yarn color. And obviously you could do the opposite. You could tighten your gauge if you needed to. And now when I knit this stitch, it'll be exactly the color that I want it to be. And I've successfully spit spliced two different colors together and changed colors in the body of my work. And I will not have any ends to weave in. And once I block it, these stitches will even out as well. 